Hey guys, we're Seafret. We're here with Andrea from Duo, and we're just here to talk about the live stream that's going out tonight. Excited! <laughs> <laughs> we're hugely excited too. I can't wait, guys, to see you on the big screen and and for everybody to hear the show because it's it's amazing. We've never yeah, done it before, have we? We've never had anything like this. Um, go out stream to be you know to be able to watch it on TV. Full performance filmed like a music video kind of slick HD. Uh, Absolutely, and cool. and the fact that everyone can see it wherever they are in the world at any time after the release, which is really cool. Incredible, and we can watch it because we've many times after gigs, I've always thought, I wish I could have watched that, you know, because when you're on the stage, yeah. but you never see it afterwards, do you? That's so. something that's that's quite a good thing that because we've always said, I wonder what it's like to go to our show, like where could we? Improve? And it's quite nice to be able to watch it back and. You're like, oh yeah, we shouldn't have done that, or we should. Have done that. <laughs> a little notepad while you. Yeah, if you do that next yeah, time. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I've got a list of questions um, for you that that uh, it might be interesting for you to answer. Your fans might like to hear. Um, and I guess the first one I wanted to ask is, what's it like? What's it been like not being able to perform for more or less a year now? Uh, it's been good and bad because I mean we we were always on the move, so we we're always touring or in the studio or, and things like that. I mean we have missed that obviously, but it's been the first time since we really kickstarted Zephyr that we've actually been able to have time at home, um, which has been really nice. Obviously we haven't been able to see people like we normally would. Yeah. Um, but just to kind of have that time, it's been really nice for for the writing side of things as well. Just to take your, you know, have that little bit of space and to think about what what actual direction you want to go rather than like constantly, you know, chasing yourself all the time. Yeah, yeah. and we have managed to stay really uh, creative actually. And we've written a load of songs that we probably wouldn't have had time to do because yeah. we'd have been touring and stuff. I mean, we love playing live. It has been so, we have missed it so much and we can't wait to get back out. But We'll be going when we do go back out when we're allowed. We'll have so many more new songs as well, so it'll be it'll be worth the wait. It will be worth. Lots, lots for people to look forward to. Yeah. And so, so when you did this show, tell tell your fans what it felt like and how how it happened. So, I mean, it was a dream come true when we got the email about it. We didn't think we were going to get it. It was an opportunity that we didn't even know the um, who it was for originally. And uh, we just thought, yeah, we would love to do something like this. And then we got down to, I think, the final two acts. Um, one being a kind of orchestra. All I heard was it was a kind of orchestra kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so we felt super lucky right from the get-go um, to be able to do it. And then to see all the work that you guys at Duo had put in um, and all the, all the production teams it was like we wanted to do it justice, so we knew we had to bring our like A game. <laughs> um, no pressure. <laughs> yeah, so we were good. It was like uh, it felt like going on tour again. You know, we were like getting all the gear there, getting everyone organised, making sure everyone knows what to do, and then um, we, we got to rehearse again. It was all being just as we've been allowed with the restrictions. So yeah. like you know, we're only just allowed to get into the rehearsal together. We're only just all has to be distanced and, and masked up and all that, but. It felt like you know it was meant to happen, uh, and we we just feel very lucky because a lot of the um, a lot of musicians and bands at the minute haven't had a chance to do things like this. Um, that's such a like a high such a high end kind of version of this. Um, so, and then the the day itself. Well, how are you going to? It was it was amazing. I mean, it was like. For one thing, because I was late, I didn't have to set anything up. I just kind of strolled in. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah, <laughs> which is great. No, it was just it was also professional. The production team were amazing. Um, the the room itself was incredible. I mean, we'd seen it on pictures, haven't we? That you'd sent across Andrew. And we thought that looks amazing. But when we got in there, it was something else. Yeah, gorgeous yeah. kind of space, and that's one of the good things, isn't it? I guess that um, that being able to do stuff online means that you can actually shoot anywhere so it, it yeah. wasn't like a stage it was a, a beautiful kind of blank canvas that you could put your stamp on and could, could be fitted yeah. to yeah and we talked about that didn't we when we were kind of planning and we didn't want it just to be in a music venue with music venue lighting yeah 
because it's not that vibe, is it? Because it is a like pre-recorded live film, basically. So yeah. yeah, we picked the perfect place, I think. We did well finding a venue as well in the uh, given time frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, they took, took a bit of doing, but um, it's uh, for those of you not in the UK, it's, it's kind of a venue in the north centre of the country, and it just worked really well for everyone to get to, and a beautiful yeah. photography studio that um, we, we love very much, Natural Light Studios. Um, and d tell us about when you were actually doing the gig because it was it was shot in one take. So was the adrenaline there? Did yeah. it feel like you were kind of? <laughs> yeah, yeah. it felt like a gig, um, which was great because it was all one take. Um, it's all live. There's no edits. Is the um, and the adrenaline was there. It was scary. I mean, we haven't played for a year. You know, we've all been locked in. So apart from the one rehearsal, we were. Scared, but good adrenaline. It's like walking on stage, isn't it? You know, and it's you know yeah. the lights go down and the crowd starts cheering, and you get that buzz. And we got that as soon as we started playing. Yeah, like we would at a gig. Yeah, yeah. it really came across as well. It felt like um, you, well, you had an audience. It you felt like you were performing for an audience, and I think people are going to really pick pick up on, on this. I hope so. I hope so. I hope they enjoy it. I think they will. I'm sure they, will. they will. We give it our all anyway, didn't we? We didn't hold back. <laughs> And so I hear you're working on some new material, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which you know where? Album three in the making. Yeah. Been, um, like, like we said earlier, it was um, just having this time to kind of write and to just step back a little, little bit and, and think about how you want to go forward. Because we've got quite, we've got quite a blank canvas when it comes to writing. Um, we started out just to obviously me and Harry and then we thought, oh, well, well we're just going to stay like this forever when we first started doing music, you know. It'll just be me and you all the way, you know. <laughs> and then we started playing with production and and that's kind of opened so many doors that you've got to be, you, you know, you can go one way, but then if you go too far one way, you can't get back. So we kind of just feel our way that's through, right. you know. We feel our way through. And, <laughs> um, the first album's a bit more pop and then the next album's a bit more indie, a bit darker sound. Um, more experimental sound and stuff. So I think uh, the happy place for this record would be somewhere in between the two. Yeah. Uh, I think we're finding that too, you know, with yeah. the production and we're finding that happy medium in between the first, the two records that we've done. And it's very exciting for us because we love them both. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a progression of us growing and developing into like our, our sound and things, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure that's an endless road, but um, it's a good road to be on. <laughs> yeah. And do you find that that it's um is it kind of an equal balance? Do you do you both contribute to to both lyrics and the music, or is it one takes more of a lyrical sense and one does more in instruments? What's how does well, it? Yeah, it's always work? been it's always been Jack takes more of the lyric, I take more of the music. But okay. I, I guess the more we've progressed, we do delve into each other's worlds. If, that, if that's the right way of putting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely do that now. I mean, we started out it was strictly you just did the music, didn't you? Yeah. And I just did the lyrics, and then. I think we've just come to learn that we're not going to feel like the you know we're getting in each of us way if we suggest something like oh well what about I'm trying to get to that note and or you know he says like oh why don't we cut this line a bit short so then it needs to be working but it's we trust each other and you need that I think you know, yeah. in, a, in a partnership. Brilliant. Have you got a kind of timeline for when you're thinking about doing releasing the new album or next year, early next year hopefully. Um, yeah, this year's been, this year's good for recording because I mean we yeah. can we manage to get in locked like in a even like during with the restrictions we can still manage to get in and do it safely so we can record a lot this year which we already have done we've got a stack of songs already um, we'll just carry on writing and trying to better them and then hopefully early next year we'll put the album on. Yeah, Fantastic. we'll play some music before the year's out definitely singles and things like that for, to look forward to so. And, I, and there was a competition. How did that go? Uh, you, ha you did a competition for, for people, 10 free tickets, was it, to come to the... It's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, we should have given out 100 tickets. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. And the people that won them are so happy and excited yeah. to watch it tonight, which is great. It's what it's about, isn't it? For everyone who's watching this, thank you all for getting involved in our last social media stuff. For everything to do with this and the past and the future. 
That's really. a brilliant, brilliant place to leave it, I think. Because um, I was actually going to say to you, what's the one thing you want to say to your fans before we go? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, cheers. Can't wait for tonight. Yeah, cheers. Let's toast. Right. I hope you all you. enjoy it tonight. Have a good yeah. night. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. yourselves. We'll be watching it with you as well. So we can't yeah. wait. Yeah. So you'll be chatting we'll, live on Insta, won't you? Yeah, we'll we'll set up a, a thing where we can we can chat live on Insta. We probably won't do the video, we'll probably just have to chat going see what people are saying. Because we want to watch it. So. <laughs> yeah, we want to enjoy it. <laughs> and you've got, got to turn it up loud. And for anybody watching, if, you, if you're watching on a mobile or a tablet, definitely plug headphones in if you can, because the sound quality is really sweet. Yeah, yeah thanks to uh, DCS and thanks to you guys as well. It's been amazing, the whole thing. So, We've yeah, had so it. much fun, and I can't wait to see the reaction to your show tonight. Amazing. Brilliant. Wait, right, cheers, gents. Bye. 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 Bye.